Building confidence doesn't happen overnight, it's a gradual process. Like constructing a strong building, confidence is created brick by brick, step by step through experience and growth. It's not something handed to you, it's earned through discipline, consistency, and learning to trust yourself. Let me tell you this confidence doesn't come from external validation. It's not about someone else telling you how great you are or a list of achievements you can show off. While those things might help temporarily, genuine confidence comes from within. It's about cultivating a deep inner belief that no matter what life throws at you, no matter the setbacks, you can rely on yourself to handle it. And trust me, life will challenge that belief. It will ask, are you sure you've got this? Are you strong enough? It's in those moments when your confidence will either rise or falter. Over the years, I've worked with countless individuals aiming to improve their lives, careers, and futures. One thing stands out confidence is the cornerstone of success, whether in business or personal life. The kind of confidence I'm talking about isn't shaken by a bad day, a criticism, or a failure. It's the kind that endures through tough times. So how do you build this unshakable confidence? After years of learning from mentors, experiences, and successful people, I've identified five key principles. Confidence isn't just an art, but a science there are specific actions you can take to create lasting confidence, the kind that grows stronger with every challenge you face. True confidence doesn't come from big, grand gestures or one-time wins. It's about the small, everyday actions you commit to and follow through on consistently. When you keep even the smallest promises to yourself, you build a foundation of trust. And trust in yourself is essential for confidence. Skipping those small steps weakens your foundation, but every time you honor your commitments, you strengthen it. Even if you make mistakes or miss a day, the key is to get back on track. Don't let a small slip turn into a larger setback. Confidence grows when you prove to yourself day after day that you can rely on your own discipline and consistency. Fear is one of the biggest threats to confidence. No matter how much you achieve, fear, if left unchecked, will undermine your belief in yourself. But here's the truth, confidence doesn't mean living without fear. It means confronting it. Every time you face a fear, even in small ways, you take back control and weaken its hold on you. Think of something you've been avoiding because it scares you, whether it's a conversation, a challenge, or a dream you've been putting off. Take a small step toward it. Facing fear head on is where real confidence begins. Confidence is built on the foundation of knowledge. The more you learn, the more confident you become in your ability to solve problems, make decisions, and create opportunities. Self-education is key here because formal education might give you a living, but self-education gives you the tools to thrive. Whether through books, mentors, or life experiences, Commit to continuous learning. Knowledge, when applied, builds confidence because it equips you to handle whatever challenges come your way. The people around you have a profound impact on your confidence. Spend time with those who uplift you, believe in you, and challenge you to grow. Confidence is contagious, and so is doubt. If you're constantly surrounded by negativity, it will drag you down. But if you're in the company of those who believe in your potential, their energy will fuel your confidence. Take a moment to evaluate your circle. Are the people around you supporting your growth or holding you back? Confidence isn't about avoiding failure. It's about knowing that failure is part of the journey to success. Every failure is an opportunity to learn, adjust, and try again. It's not failure itself that defines you, but how you respond to it. Those who build lasting confidence don't shy away from mistakes. They use them to get stronger, more resilient and more capable. The road to success is paved with failures, but every time you get back up, you prove to yourself that you're capable of overcoming anything. In the end, building lasting confidence isn't a quick fix or a one-time effort, it's a continuous journey. It's about trusting yourself, learning from your mistakes, facing your fears, and surrounding yourself with the right people. Confidence grows with every step you take in the direction of growth no matter how small. So start today. Keep your promises to yourself, face your fears, keep learning, build positive relationships, and see every failure as a stepping stone. 
Over time, you'll find that your confidence isn't something that wavers. It's something you've built brick by brick for a lifetime. As you continue to build your confidence, it's important to remember that the process never really ends. Confidence isn't a destination you reach, it's a state of mind you nurture and maintain. The actions you take daily, both small and large, are what strengthen that foundation. One of the most common mistakes people make when building confidence is expecting perfection. But here's the truth, perfection is an illusion. You don't have to get everything right all the time to be confident. In fact, confidence grows more from how you handle your imperfections and missteps than from any flawless achievement. Confidence is about showing up consistently, even when things don't go according to plan. It's about staying committed to your growth, even when you fall short. You'll have days when you don't hit your goals or meet your own expectations. That's part of being human. What matters is that you keep going. You adjust, you learn, and you keep moving forward. Don't let the fear of not being perfect stop you from taking action. Confidence thrives on progress, not perfection. Along the journey to building confidence, it's easy to focus on what's not working or where you're falling short. But if you really want to cultivate lasting self-belief, you need to make a habit of recognizing your wins, no matter how small they may seem. Each time you accomplish something, whether it's completing a task, sticking to a habit, or taking a step toward a goal, you're proving to yourself that you're capable. Don't brush those moments off. Acknowledge them, celebrate them. This reinforces the idea that you're someone who follows through, someone who achieves. Confidence is cumulative. Every win adds another layer to your self-belief, so take the time to appreciate your progress, even if you're not yet where you want to be. Many people believe that confidence comes from being hard on themselves, from never accepting failure or weakness. But the truth is, the more compassionate you are with yourself, the more resilient and confident you become. Self-compassion means treating yourself with kindness, especially when you stumble. It's about recognizing that mistakes, failures, and setbacks are a natural part of growth. When you treat yourself with empathy, you bounce back faster from challenges because you're not wasting energy beating yourself up. So when you face a tough moment or a failure, instead of criticizing yourself, ask, what can I learn from this? This shift in mindset allows you to grow from your experiences rather than being held back by them. In life, things will rarely go exactly as planned. Setbacks, unexpected changes, and challenges will arise. Key to maintaining your confidence in the face of uncertainty is adaptability. The more flexible you are, the more easily you'll be able to pivot when things don't go your way. Confident people aren't those who never face challenges. They're the ones who remain calm and resourceful when obstacles appear. They trust in their ability to adapt and figure things out as they go. When something unexpected happens, instead of seeing it as a problem, view it as an opportunity to grow. Adaptability is a core aspect of lasting confidence because it empowers you to thrive in any situation, knowing you can handle whatever comes your way. One of the most powerful ways to build confidence is by taking full responsibility for your life. That means recognizing that your choices, actions, and mindset have the greatest influence over your future. It's easy to blame circumstances, other people, or bad luck when things don't go right, but that mentality strips you of your power. When you take responsibility for your life, you step into a position of control. You realize that, while you may not be able to change every situation, you can always control how you respond. And that response is what shapes your reality. Taking responsibility doesn't mean being hard on yourself or carrying all the weight alone. It means understanding that you are the architect of your own life, and that's a powerful realization. It's a mindset shift that fuels your confidence because it reminds you that you always have the power to make changes, learn, and grow. A significant part of building unshakable confidence is learning to focus on the things within your control rather than getting caught up in external factors you can't influence. Life will always throw challenges your way, circumstances you didn't predict, people you can't control, outcomes that don't go as planned. 
When you allow yourself to get consumed by things outside your control, it drains your energy and erodes your confidence. But when you shift your attention to what you can control your actions, your mindset, your response to challenges, you reclaim your power. This focus on controllable factors creates a sense of stability. Even when everything else feels uncertain. For example, you can't control how someone else reacts, but you can control how you show up. You can't predict every outcome, but you can control how much effort you put in. When you direct your energy toward things you can influence, you feel more empowered and grounded. And over time, this strengthens your confidence because you realize that no matter what happens, you have the power to respond effectively. Another key to building confidence is using the power of visualization. This isn't just about imagining the end result, but also envisioning the journey, including the challenges you'll face along the way. When you visualize yourself successfully navigating obstacles, you mentally prepare for the reality of the process. When you're mentally prepared for setbacks, they won't shake your confidence as much when they happen. Instead of being surprised or discouraged, you'll approach them with a sense of readiness. You'll think, I knew this was coming, and I know how to handle it. Successful athletes use visualization all the time, seeing themselves not only winning the game, but also overcoming tough moments during the match. This technique helps them build the mental resilience needed to stay confident, no matter what challenges arise. You can apply the same principle in your own life. Take a few minutes each day to visualize yourself handling both the successes and setbacks on your path. This mental rehearsal trains your brain to stay confident and composed, even when things don't go smoothly. True, lasting confidence doesn't come just from external achievements. It comes from being deeply connected to your purpose, knowing why you're doing what you're doing. When you have a clear sense of purpose, you're not easily swayed by temporary setbacks or external opinions. Your confidence becomes rooted in something much deeper than surface level success. When you know your why, you're more resilient. Even when things get tough, or when you doubt yourself, your purpose pulls you through. It gives you direction and reminds you of what you're working toward. This internal motivation fuels your confidence because it shifts your focus from immediate challenges to the bigger picture. If you haven't already, take time to clarify your purpose. What are you working toward and why does it matter to you? When you're clear on your purpose, you have a powerful foundation for your confidence and you can navigate challenges with a greater sense of certainty. Gratitude is a simple but powerful tool for building confidence. When you focus on what's going right in your life, on the progress you've made, the strengths you have, and the opportunities before you, you shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. This creates a positive feedback loop that fuels your confidence. Practicing gratitude doesn't mean ignoring challenges or pretending everything is perfect. It means acknowledging the good things, no matter how small, and using that positive energy to keep moving forward. Each day, take a moment to reflect on something you're grateful for, especially related to your progress and personal growth. Maybe it's a new skill you've developed, a challenge you've overcome, or even just the fact that you're committed to becoming a better version of yourself. The more you practice gratitude, the more you'll realize how much you're capable of, and that realization builds confidence. Patience is essential in the process of building lasting confidence. Confidence isn't something you develop overnight, and it's certainly not something you can rush. It's the result of consistent effort over time, and it grows with each step you take. There will be days when you feel strong and unstoppable, and there will be days when you doubt yourself or feel like you're not making progress. Both are part of the journey. What matters is that you stay patient with yourself, trusting that the work you're putting in will pay off, even if you can't see the results immediately. Patience also means giving yourself grace when things don't go as planned. You'll have setbacks, you'll make mistakes, and that's okay. It's part of the process. Confidence is built by persevering through those moments, by getting back up and continuing to move forward. So keep showing up, keep putting in the effort, even when it feels like nothing's happening. Over time, you'll look back and see just how far you've come and the confidence you've built will be unshakable. Now that we've gone over the first few essential rules for building long lasting confidence, mastering small disciplines, facing your fears and investing in self-education, 
Let's move on to the next two. The company you keep plays a crucial role in shaping your confidence. If you're spending time with people who constantly doubt you, criticize you, or bring negative energy into your life, it's going to be incredibly hard to maintain any level of self-belief. On the other hand, if you're surrounded by those who uplift you, who challenge you to be better, and who believe in your potential, that positive energy will inevitably boost your confidence. I've seen this time and time again, confidence is contagious. When you're around people who believe in themselves, it rubs off on you. Their courage inspires you to take risks, to push forward, and to face your own challenges. They don't even have to say anything directly about your confidence, it's their example that sets the tone. But here's the flip side. If you're constantly around negativity, even if it's subtle, that doubt and fear will begin to seep into your mindset. You may not even realize it at first. It could be the person who tells you to be realistic when you share a big dream, or someone who constantly focuses on what could go wrong rather than what could go right. These influences chip away at your confidence little by little. So ask yourself, who are you spending your time with? Are they helping you grow or holding you back? Are they people who push you forward or do they drag you down with doubts and fears? If your current circle isn't lifting you up, it's time to make some changes. I'm not saying you have to cut everyone out of your life, but you do need to be mindful of how much time and energy you're investing in people who aren't supportive of your growth. And the good news? You can start building relationships with the right people at any time. Seek out mentors, find communities where success is celebrated, and spend time with people who inspire you to be the best version of yourself. When you're surrounded by that kind of energy, your confidence will grow naturally. Now, this one might surprise you. Most people think confidence is built by success, by getting things right, by always winning. But the truth is, confidence grows stronger when you embrace failure as part of your journey. It's how you handle setbacks, how you learn from mistakes that truly solidifies your confidence. Let me be clear, failure hurts. It's uncomfortable. It challenges you to the core. But if you see failure as a dead end, it will paralyze you. On the other hand, if you can shift your mindset to view failure as feedback, as a learning experience, you'll start to welcome it. You'll begin to see that every setback is an opportunity to grow, to improve, and to get closer to your goals. Here's the reality everyone fails. Every successful person you've ever admired has experienced failure many times over. The difference between those who build lasting confidence and those who don't isn't whether or not they fail, it's how they respond to failure. Failure is simply feedback. It's a message telling you what didn't work and what needs to be adjusted. If you can embrace this mindset, failure will no longer be something to fear. It will become a tool that helps you refine your approach and strengthen your resilience. And with each failure, your confidence grows not because you avoided mistakes, but because you've proven to yourself that you can survive them. You can fall, learn, and rise again. Every time you do, your belief in your ability to overcome obstacles gets a little stronger. So the next time you experience failure, I want you to ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this to grow? And then keep moving forward. That's how lasting confidence is built, not through perfection, but through persistence. Now, let's dig a bit deeper into how you can reinforce these five rules in your daily life. This is where the rubber meets the road. These strategies are not just theories, they are practical steps you can integrate into your routine. Start each day by setting a clear intention. This could be as simple as committing to drink more water, reading for 10 minutes, or taking a short walk. Write it down and check it off as you complete it. Use a journal or an app to track your small wins. Celebrate each achievement, no matter how minor it seems. This builds a sense of accomplishment and reinforces your self-trust. Take some time to write down what fears are holding you back. Be specific. Once you have a list, pick one and break it down into smaller, manageable steps. For example, if you're afraid of public speaking, Start by practicing in front of a mirror, then progress to speaking in front of a friend, and eventually seek opportunities to speak in a group setting. Each step you take diminishes the fear's power, 
create a reading list of books that inspire you or sign up for online courses that align with your goals. Schedule time in your week dedicated to learning. Join discussion groups or forums where you can share what you've learned and hear from others. Teaching is one of the best ways to reinforce your knowledge and confidence. Take a close look at your relationships. Are they uplifting? If not, consider how you can spend more time with people who encourage and support you. Look for mentors in your field or areas of interest. A mentor can provide invaluable insights, guidance, and a belief in your potential that might be hard for you to see. When you experience a setback, instead of viewing it as a failure, ask yourself what lesson can be learned. Write it down and use it to inform your next steps. Talk about your failures with trusted friends or mentors. You might be surprised by how many have gone through similar challenges. Sharing can help you feel less isolated and more supported. Consider forming a support group or a mastermind with people who are also working on building their confidence. This creates a space where you can share successes, challenges, and strategies. Having accountability and encouragement from others can significantly accelerate your growth. Now let's talk about an incredibly effective tool for boosting your confidence self-affirmations. This practice may sound simple, but it can have a profound impact on how you see yourself and your potential. Self-affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself to challenge and combat negative thoughts. They help reinforce your self-worth and remind you of your strengths and capabilities. Take a moment to write down a few affirmations that resonate with you. For instance, I am capable of achieving my goals or I learn and grow from my experiences. Start your day by reciting these affirmations. You can say them aloud in front of a mirror or write them in your journal. Consistency is key. The more you practice, the more natural it becomes. As you recite your affirmations, take a moment to visualize yourself embodying those statements. Imagine how it would feel to truly believe in your abilities and to act on that belief. Another crucial aspect of building confidence is setting and achieving realistic goals. When you accomplish goals, no matter how small, it creates a sense of achievement and reinforces your confidence. Begin with achievable goals that stretch your abilities but are not overwhelming. This could be anything from committing to a daily exercise routine to learning a new skill online. Ensure your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, instead of saying, I want to be healthier, say, I will walk for 30 minutes, five times a week for the next month. Every time you achieve a goal, celebrate it. This could be as simple as treating yourself to something you enjoy or sharing your success with a supportive friend. Recognizing your progress fuels your motivation and confidence. Resilience is a key component of lasting confidence. Life is full of challenges and how you respond to them can shape your confidence over time. Embrace the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. When faced with setbacks, ask yourself, what can I learn from this, rather than focusing on the failure itself? Engage in mindfulness practices, such as meditation or deep breathing exercises, to help you stay grounded and focused during challenging times. This can help you manage stress and maintain a positive outlook. Surround yourself with people who inspire and support you. Share your challenges with them and seek their perspectives. Sometimes, just knowing you have a supportive network can make all the difference in how you respond to adversity. Positive self-talk is a crucial aspect of building and maintaining confidence. The way you speak to yourself can either uplift you or undermine your self-belief. Let's explore how to cultivate a positive inner dialogue. Start by becoming aware of your inner critic. Pay attention to the negative thoughts that pop up, especially in challenging situations. Acknowledge them without judgment. When you catch yourself thinking negatively, ask, is this thought true or what evidence do I have that contradicts this reframing these thoughts is essential? Once you identify negative self-talk, replace it with positive affirmations. Instead of saying, I can't handle this, say I've overcome challenges before and I can do it again. Procrastination can be a confidence killer. When you delay taking action, it often leads to increased anxiety and self-doubt. Let's discuss how to combat procrastination and take charge of your tasks. Large tasks can be overwhelming. Break them down into manageable parts. 
This makes it easier to take action and build momentum. If a task will take two minutes or less, do it immediately. This simple action can help reduce the mental load and create a sense of accomplishment. Give yourself specific time frames for completing tasks. This creates a sense of urgency and accountability, making it easier to stay on track. Embracing vulnerability is essential for building authentic confidence. It allows you to connect with others and opens the door to personal growth. Don't be afraid to share your struggles with others. This creates authenticity and fosters connections, reminding you that you are not alone in your challenges. Recognizing when you need assistance is a sign of strength, not weakness. Reach out to mentors or friends for support and guidance. Listen to stories of others who have faced challenges. Understanding that everyone encounters difficulties can help normalize your own experiences and build your resilience. Gratitude is a powerful practice that can enhance your confidence and overall well-being. It shifts your focus from what's lacking in your life to what you already have. Each day, write down three things you are grateful for. This simple practice helps train your mind to focus on the positive aspects of your life. Take a moment to express gratitude to others. This could be a simple thank you to a colleague or a heartfelt message to a friend. Strengthening your relationships can boost your confidence. Regularly remind yourself of your accomplishments and the challenges you've overcome. Recognizing your progress reinforces your belief in yourself. To ensure your journey toward confidence continues, consider creating a personal development plan. This plan can help you outline your goals and the steps you need to take to achieve them. What areas of your life do you want to improve? List specific goals related to your career, personal growth, health, and relationships. For each goal, write down the actionable steps you will take to achieve them. This provides clarity and direction. To assign realistic timelines for each goal. This keeps you accountable and helps you track your progress. Regularly revisit your plan to assess your progress. Make adjustments as needed to stay aligned with your evolving goals. As we wrap up, I want to remind you that confidence is not a destination, but a journey. It requires ongoing effort, self-reflection, and a willingness to learn and grow. Every day is a new opportunity to build your confidence. Implement one of the strategies we discussed today and watch how it impacts your mindset. Growth takes time and there will be ups and downs. Celebrate every small win along the way. You have unique strengths and qualities that contribute to the world. Trust in your potential and don't shy away from pursuing your dreams. Now it's your turn. Take a moment right now to reflect on what you've learned today. Identify one specific action you will take to foster your confidence. Write it down, share it with someone, and commit to making it happen. So step forward with courage, take that action, and let your confidence shine. The world is waiting for your brilliance. Thank you for joining me today on this empowering journey toward confidence. I can't wait to hear about all the incredible strides you will make. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.